Uh, Mario says, Hi Kay, how do you keep your discipline to always keep your losses small? Sometimes I lose my discipline and I don't cut my losses quickly enough. Okay, so that's about psychology, I think. That's about psychology and uh, following your own rules with discipline. Yeah, so we have, you have your own system, I have my own system, and if the strategy says yes, then we have to do it, no matter what you think about the markets. And if the strategy says no, then you have to do nothing, or you have to quit trading, you have to cut the loss, you have to exit, no matter how much, how, what you think about the markets. So, strategies are important in order for us to keep discipline, but uh, as soon as you become subjective to the markets and violate the rules, then that's I think when you start to be start to uh, make losses big. So, yeah. So that's one of the things I think about, about the losses to keep it small. And also, uh, I like to keep the losses small because the markets are basically uh, uncontrollable. So, if it's uncontro uncontrollable, then we have to we have to keep the losses small. And I think also this is about the psychology m management is that the um, this is and this is about the win rate versus risk reward ratio, which one you value more. If you have the big stop loss, let's say 100 pips of stop loss, then you have a buffer of 100 pips uh, to keep winning losses, but the market so may, the market may may retrace 70 pips, 80 pips, but then after that it may start to go up towards your direction, and tomorrow or sometime this week or next week you may start to run profits. Um, so if you hear this story, then you may think that. So white stop loss sounds good because you have enough buffer and the market may not hit the stop loss. But the other side is that um, 100 pips is pretty wide in Forex. And we never know how many days, how many hours, how many uh, weeks it takes for the market to go down 50, uh, 100 pips. And if it reverses, Within a day, I think it's okay, but it may take two days, three days. So as it goes down gradually, 10 pips, 20 pips, 30 pips down, um, your psychology may be a bit stressful because um, you're in a loss. You see the red number in your profile, and uh, it might affect your psychology. You may get emotional, or um, you don't feel good about running losses, at least for me, it was my case. And also, wide stop loss, 100 pips, let's say stop loss, means if you want to take 2% risk, or even 3%, 4% risk to 100 pips of stop loss, you have to decrease the lot size. So if you have 20 pips of stop loss and uh, 100 pips of stop loss, the lot size is 5 times different. So that means if the market goes up towards your direction after you enter trade, which one you make profits more is of course when you have the smaller stop loss because your lot size is bigger and once you start to make profits, it becomes really fast and you, you make profits more uh, time efficiently in that way. And this is the second reason why I don't put the big stop loss to trade. So, um, yeah, so I was also before, but when I first started my Forex, Forex journey, I never knew about the stop loss before. I was like, what stop loss? And I, I saw, I read some books, and I was watching some website, 
and I know, okay, stop loss is where the market will be stopped out, where my position will be stopped out, and I will be out with the loss on that, on that level. Okay, I know. So let's say I have the stop loss, and I just take a trade, put the stop loss, put the TP, and I sleep over. Next day, the market hits the stop loss and lose. And when this thing happens, you know, uh, sometimes uh, my drawdowns were really big, becoming really big. And so I thought stop, stop loss, having stop losses, I thought it's really bad, bad idea, I thought. Uh, and then I got big losses, I blow account, and uh, I realized, started to realize the importance of the risk management. And then I restudied about the stop loss and I started to use stop loss as of now. So, and the way I use stop loss is a bit, I think, different from what people usually say because, again, I, I usually have the small stop loss. In this trade, again, I took the 34 pips of stop loss which is okay. This is a bit wide, but it's okay, acceptable stop loss pips. Um, so in terms of, so this is my strategy is that in terms of the trend follow, I take the four hour to follow. So, and in terms of entry and exit, I take M5, five minute time frame. So this is multiple time frame concept. Right, so um, so if you look at M5 entry timing, then you may think that I take trades, I'm actually taking trade on M5, and yes, that's correct, but uh, hold on, let me share screen again. So yeah, I, I follow the 4 hour time frame, which is higher time frame, and I take entries on M5. And the reason is because I follow the 4 hour, so basically I'm trading the 4 hour time frame. I am not following 1 hour and I am not following M5 direction, but I'm following the 4 hour direction in my mind. And that's why I say as long as 4 hour is bullish, I keep following and when 4 hour goes flat, that's when I exit my trade. That's why I say that. But in terms of the entries and exits, I use M5 to capture exact spot for entries and also exit with the loss or with the profit. So I kind of mix the day, day trading or swing trading strategy to trend follow and scalping strategy for my entries and exits. And because I found that this is the best for me to to manage the risk and the real ratio, and also to be disciplined on myself. And that's how I created my strategy.